Hi, in this video, we'll see how to work with data blending in Tableau. Now, data blending is somewhat similar to joins. In joins, what we do is we combine data from multiple data sources and represent in the form of a graph. So that is how we work with the joins. Same we'll be doing with data blending. But there are some more advanced features in data blending which joins doesn't support. So let us see what are those features. Now what I have done is I have two different Excel files where I have done the sales in two different Excel files. One is the coffee chain and second is the office city. So in this both the Excel files there are some sales done at those places. Now what I want is I want to combine data from both the files into one Tableau file and I want to display the sales in the form of graph. So let me show you the two different files. There are some fields which are common in two Excel files and there are some fields which are different. So let us see that. I'll show you both the Excel files. Now as I said, I have two files. One is Office City Sales and second one is nothing but the Coffee Chains Sales. In Office City Sales, sales related to office, let's say for example, state code, the state, market, market size, territory and office sales. These are the columns which are given. I want to see the sales done in the office sales in the form of a graph. Same way, if you see here on the right hand side, there's coffee chain sales where I have the product type, product, state, type, region and coffee sales. So I also have this data. The data in the second file is nothing but there are 14 rows and here also if you see there are 19 rows. Now, what is the common field in both the tables? If you see the common column is nothing but state. In this office city sales, there's a state column and I have only three states that is Texas, OU and the Washington, three, three cities, states here. In the second uh, sheet, if you see uh, that is coffee chain sales, I have many states here. So the only column which you see, there's nothing but state, which is common in both the files itself. Second, the common data I have, if you see there's a region, north, south, east, west, if you see there's a region column, the data in the first file, if you see north, south, east, west and all the regions. The difference is the column name, here it is territory and here the column name is region. But whereas if you leave that column names, the data inside that is one and the same. So what I can do is in the data blending, I can define a relationship that from the office city sales, the territory column is equal to coffee chain uh, file that is the region column itself. So both I can say they both are equal and I can create a relationship between these two files. And after creating a relationship, I can see sales in both the regions and I can see the sales in both the files what is given here. Okay, so let us see. Now what I've done is I have imported these two files, Office City Sales and nothing but the Coffee Chain Sales into my Tableau. You know how to connect to two different databases. So I'll just show you the file which I've done. Yeah, so this is the file that's a data blending file. You can download these files after the video. And if you see there's a Coffee Chain Sales and there's one Office City Sales at both the places. Now here if you see I have coffee chain sales where I have the column or you can say the dimensions and measures related to coffee chain sales and same I have the office city sales the dimension and measures. Now what is my ultimate aim is I want to see sales of both the files okay based on the region column itself. So what I can do is I can first define a relationship between them. The relationship if you remember the territory column in office city sales was same exactly as coffee chain with the region itself. How do I give the relationship? So for giving a relationship I need to go to this data menu bar and if you see there's an option given as edit relationships. Edit relationships what it will give us it says relationships determine how the data from secondary data sources are joined with primary data sources. Here. My primary data source is nothing but coffee chain sales because I've selected that coffee chain sales and secondary, secondary data source is nothing but the office city sales. Okay. So here if you see automatically it has combined state column from both the uh, data sources. If you see there's a state column. Now at any time if you think you want to change the primary data source you can just click on this drop down. You can select as office city sales will become as primary data source and this one become as secondary data source. Now what we want to do is, I want state is already there, I want territory from one column, one data source and region from another data source. So I'll click on this custom part and if I click on this custom part, I can just add here a column here. If I select automatic, the add button will not be visible. Custom column and I'll click on this add and if you see from primary data source, I'll pick up this territory, from secondary data source, I'll pick up this region and finally I'll click on OK button. 
okay so if you see now there are two relationships which are defined territory and region and second is state and state in both the tables and i'll click on okay okay so what i've done is i've created a relationship now what i want is i want to see the sales from both the files based on the state okay so first thing is i'll pick up this coffee sales here and i'll put in the columns and again i'll pick up this state put in the rows okay so if you see here what i've done is i've picked up the state and i've picked up the coffee sales now if you observe when you pick up the data and there's a blue tick mark which comes at the data source coffee chain sales now it says this will be your primary data source okay suppose if i just drag it down outside if i drag it outside now if i keep my cursor at office city sales and if i pick up this state into the rows if i pick up office sales into the columns and i'm getting a graph if you see and i'm getting a blue tick mark at this office city sales saying that this is your primary data source now okay now after that what i can do is i want to compare sales from both the files the state is there which is given here okay in one file which is office city sales there were only three states that is oyo texas and washington okay i'll just drop it back again okay but if i go to coffee chain sales and if i pick up this state and dro drop it here okay if you observe there are many many uh, states which are given there are not three states but there are many states why because whatever states you pick up or whatever column you pick up from primary data source those will be displayed if those are not present in the second column still it will be displayed from the primary column itself so okay okay so if i just drop it back here or if i can simply show you from coffee chain sales if i pick up a state and if you see there are more than 3 or you can say 6 7 and if i drop it back again if from office city sales if i pick up this state and if i drop down here and you see there are three states so i think which one will be better for me i'll pick up this coffee chain sales because there are many states which are given here i'll go to coffee chain sales i'll pick up a state here okay that is done here now after i get the states i want to compare the sales from both the data sources i'll pick up this coffee sales from here this has become my primary data source now i'll go to my secondary or i can say as office city sales and i'll pick up this office sales here okay now if you observe i'll get two different graphs why you're getting only two rows here only two graphs here because oyo and texas is present in both the places in the office sales i had only three states if you remember so i'm getting a graph only for those particular states but here since it's my primary data source office coffee sales i'm getting all the columns at this place okay and i can see the data properly here okay so this is one method by which you can this will be working in the data blending defining relationships and then you can display the data so if i want i can show you one more example here now if i go to the sheet one i can see primary and secondary data source they have been distinguished but if i open a new worksheet i am not able to see anything primary or secondary so the relationships that is primary secondary will be only specific to the sheet related not to the other workbook itself so this entire is a workbook these are the worksheets so the relationship will be only kept in the worksheet so i'll go to the next place here now now if you remember i've done here as a region in this place and in office city sales that was nothing but territory so if i pick up a sales into this rows and if i pick up here a territory and pick up in the columns so if you see east north south west these are the data which i have territory and territory wise if i want to see the sales this has become as the primary and there's a check mark which is given here i'll go to this coffee chain sales and if i pick up this coffee sales and put in the rows okay so if you see that's a coffee sales and if you see that's a office sales now if you i don't like this data which is given here you can swap this columns and rows automatically how do you swap it you have the shortcut named as control w so if you press control w from a keyboard okay if you press control w from a keyboard this data will swap again if i press control w and if you see that's a data is swapping here control w will be for swapping okay now after you observe this here how do i find out which one is primary sales which one is secondary sales here for the primary you will get a blue check box and for the coffee sales you'll get a red check box here orange check box so here if you see there's a orange check box which is given as a sales from the secondary data source and you can wipe out here itself right so this is how we can work with the data blending there's much more we can learn in the data blending type i hope you have understood all that's all for this video